Hey guys, this is Nathan and welcome to the Gaming 4. Today in this unturned map editor tutorial, I'm going to be showing you guys some of the newest changes to the node uh, the node item, I guess, within the editor. So pretty much where you're going to want to find this is inside of environment and then nodes and it's got its own tab here. And as I mentioned before, this is an update video, but I will be covering all updates about this node object. So, pretty much there's, I think, four or five types of nodes here. I'm going to place them all and pretty much tell you what they do. So, first of all, we have a location. This is the default one. Um, it shows up as just a little dot here. And pretty much when you place one, it comes up with this location bar up here in the top right. And pretty much you're going to want to put a name there. So, name here. I'm just going to type that for now. And, yeah, I'll actually place a couple of those. Uh, this is a test map that I used for building the military base for another tutorial I did. And so I'll just name two of these here. And so pretty much what this is going to do is once you render the map, so if you press escape and bake satellite and bake chart, what these two nodes are going to do is they're going to add these names to your map. And yeah, so pretty much whenever you press M and you're in survival on this map, you will see now... Uh, name here over here and military base by the military base so that's the first type of node so if we click this button here this location here it should change to another type of node and so this is going to be a safe zone so uh, pretty much when you place the safe zone you've just got a radius option up here and when you're inside a safe zone what it does is you cannot take damage um, you cannot switch your weapon and yeah, you're pretty restricted. So pretty much when you're inside a safe zone, you cannot really do much, but you're safe. That's that's the main point. So you'll be safe from zombies, safe from other players. You can't take damage. So yeah, that's the main thing. And um, in a bit after I'm done showing you all the basics of these, I, we can go into this world and I can test it out for you guys. So the third type, if you press this button down here again, is a purchase. Now this uh, node is only used in horde mode maps and it also has a radius ID and cost. Uh, radius pretty much affects how far away you need to be to be able to access this purchase location. The ID and cost, uh, the ID represents the item ID that you will be selling. So I'm going to put 99, I happen to know that I think, pretty sure that is the uh, Cobra. And the cost will be how much it costs to buy that. And you get the points in horde mode from killing zombies. So on a normal map, this will be useless, but it will still show up. So you could probably use this for other things. And I'll put another one here. I'm, I'm going to put like 16. I think that's a uh, maybe an axe or something. But yeah, so I won't be able to use those, like buy anything, but I'll be able to see them. So we'll leave those there anyway. So yeah. And, okay, so the fourth type is an arena node. Now, this one I'm not going to be able to test because it will only work in an arena map. But pretty much what this node does is it defines an area that um, an arena map eventually focuses in on. So this also only has a radius <coughs> that you can configure. And pretty much what is going to happen is the max radius that you've got is going to be where the arena boundary starts. And pretty much as the arena map goes on, it's just going to slowly get smaller and smaller till it gets to the very center section. And it'll probably get smaller to that than that and like cut off it completely. So yeah, pretty much you're going to want, uh, the best way to place these is decide, you know, where do I want centers of my map to be? place one here because I want to center of the map there, place one there because I want the center of the map there, place it there because I want the center of the map there, and then expand those to however large you want them to be, probably encompassing the entire map. Now you can have multiples of these in one arena map. Um, if you guys watched the how to build an arena tutorial that I made, and I actually examined the um, Alpha Valley arena map. There was actually quite a lot. There was probably five or six to ten or something. And pretty much I think how the arena map works is it picks one of them randomly and it chooses that. 
and it uses only that one. So don't be afraid of having too many on here, you know, there's, there's no such thing as too many. So I'm actually going to get rid of these because uh, these are not useful. Um, these won't be able to work or see, you'll, you won't be able to see any evidence of them when I do uh, test them out. But, you know, you know how to use them anyway. So the last type of uh, node is the dead zone node. And this is pretty much the opposite of the safe zone node. Uh, you place it down and it only has one parameter and that's radius. And it works similarly to the safe zone except that it hurts you when you go inside it. So pretty much whenever you go inside a dead zone you pretty much get this radiation uh, sickness sort of thing. And there's an icon that shows up on your player. So I'm going to place a player spawn in here and um, we can test it out. So I'm just going to save, I'll bake the satellite and the chart again to make sure that the, uh, the location nodes show up. And let us test this map. Okay, so let's go into single player. And this was on the test military map. And yeah, let's, let's test this. Alright, so here we are. Okay, I just now realized it was probably a bad idea for me to put these out in the middle of nowhere because I've got no idea where to see where they are. But, if you see the purchase, um, I mean the location ones are working. So we've got name here and military base. So those actually worked right away. And based off the location of those, um, I should know that there's a safe zone around here and a dead zone around here. And then we're going to have to run around a bit to find the... Uh, there we go. So here we got the safe zone. Um, as you can see, you've got this shield icon that shows up, and it actually also tells you here down at the bottom when you enter and exit a safe zone. So yeah, pretty simple. Uh, once you're in here, you can't uh, punch or anything like that. You cannot use any weapons, and yeah, it's pretty much a safe zone. It's, it'll keep you safe if you're inside of it. Um, over here, we should find the dead zone pretty fast. Okay, so uh, I found the dead zone, uh, and it's right right in front of me, so pretty much when you enter the dead zone, you see we've got this toxic uh, icon here over my health, and also you also get the notification at the bottom that you are entering and exiting the dead zone. And pretty much all that happens inside the dead zone is you've got increased radioactivity, and it'll slowly chip that away until you are losing health. And yeah, it's pretty bad. So definitely not advised. Um, something else that uh, you can do to mitigate the dead zone effect is you can wear a hazmat suit. So yeah, that's actually implemented. And yeah, that is a good way of not uh, feeling the effects of a dead zone. So last thing to find here is the purchase nodes. Um, definitely going to be the hardest to find because they're pretty small. But I'll probably run across it here in a bit. Okay, so here we found um, one of the uh, purchase nodes. So um, this is pretty much what it looks like. Um, it's invisible right now, but uh, pretty much what you see once you're inside of it is you see an option to buy a Cobra for a hundred. Um, there's not really any units set up for that yet. It's not really a hundred anything, it's just a hundred. And yeah, pretty much if you had money, it would show up inside of Horde mode, and you would be able to buy that for 100. And also something good to consider is um, when you buy a weapon like a Cobra, if you try to buy it again, what it'll do is instead of giving you another Cobra, it'll give you a clip for the Cobra. So it's actually pretty nice in that way. Um, it's a lot like Call of Duty Zombies, I think that's what it was modeled after. So yeah, pretty simple. 
um, pretty handy too, uh, especially with horde modes, which is the only one that it actually works in. And of course, guys, if you guys try to, oh, uh, there's the axe, camp axe, yep, I knew it. You don't actually have to only sell weapons though, guys, you can sell any type of item. You can't sell vehicles though, which is too bad, unless it's a makeshift vehicle, because you can actually craft those and have those in your inventory. So anyway, that's pretty much it for the, um, the nodes, uh, not much has changed on those besides adding the, um, arena node and, um, probably the dead zone node, I think, was the only other one that changed. So yeah, hopefully that answers all you guys' questions, and, yep, that's about it. So thank you guys for watching, hopefully you learned something and enjoyed this video. Um, please like the video if you enjoyed it, and subscribe if you want to see some more. I will see you all later.